Hey, Gary. What? So I have an idea for today. What? Since it's your birthday, your birthday month, and here, pause it real quick. Since it's your birthday month, I was thinking Annie likes champagne. How about we do a blind champagne tasting and try a bunch of new champagnes to see what your favorite is? Is this what 30 comes to? Where you just tried new champagne? What happens if I get them all right? I think more, I'm more concerned that you like the really expensive ones. <laughs> what do you think? I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. Okay. I'll be right back. Bye. All right guys, I just got back home and got the bottles that Carrie's gonna be doing her taste test of. We have the Corbel Extra Dry, which is her go-to champagne bottle that she usually drinks. Next up is Vogue Clicquot. And last is a bottle of Dom Perignon. Um, so we typically don't get expensive champagne. We usually only get the Corbel because it's a, about a $10 bottle. So it'll be interesting to see how the other two rank. You ready? Cleansing my palate. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get Carrie blindfolded um, before I open these up and start to pour it so that she has no idea which one she's drinking. Then you're going to rank them in order of best to worst. Am Let I ranking them or am I guessing what they are? I think you should rank them as far as what you think tastes the best. That way we can see, does the more expensive champagne taste better? You can also guess what it is too. I mean, let's see if you can match the two. Are they all the same temperature? Yes, everything is cold. Okay, two, I have an assumption. I feel like I can tell which ones were which by the way the bottle popped. But I have them out of order. You don't know what order they are in now. Okay, but can I guess which, which way you popped them? Yes. You popped the Don Perignon first, then the Vive Le Co, is that how you say it? And mm -hmm. then the Corbel. You're wrong. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you can take off the blindfold. Oh, I thought I was taste testing it with that on. Well, you don't know which one's which now. I'll leave it on. How are you going to grab the glass? You can take the blindfold off. Did you pour one in all of them? The same one in all of them? Did I pour the same? No, they are all different. Okay. Well, this one has more bubbles.
This is also hard because I always do it with orange juice. Yeah. This is the Dom. You think that one's the Dom? Do you think it tastes good? Mm, no, this one so far has tasted good. I would taste this one. Your right side? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> what do you think so far? Vive Le Vive Vive Leco? I don't know how you say it. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is until you finish ranking them in order of favorite to least favorite. I think favorite, second, third. All right. What was this one? So your favorite is the $10 bottle of Corbel. <laughs> what is this one? Your second favorite is Dom Perignon. Oh, and this is And good. your third is Vive Leco. So uh, I guess from this test, the price of the bottle does I'm the not, cheapest or the most does expensive. Not make a difference. Yeah. I didn't like the middle grade one. Hmm. Well. Is there a big difference between the flavors? Okay, well, let's do, I'll go off to the coffee area and pour three glasses. Okay. And I'll bring you three glasses. Okay, let's try it. Okay, go. All right. Start over here. Very bubbly. Decent though. Mm -hmm. I like that one. So far, that one over this one. Hmm. I'm stuck between these two. I think this one's gonna be my top one. All right, first, second, third. What was it? You know, I think I really messed up and forgot, but I think the middle <laughs> one was the Corbel. I think this one was the very end one was the Viblico. But I, I mixed up the two. I want to say the middle one was Corbel, but as I sat them down, I did uh, mouth them to the camera, so we are going to have to go back and play that, so one second. <laughs> okay, so I just went back and played the tape, and I did get it, but I did get it right. So your favorite was Corbel. Was it? Viva Co. and then Dom was on this side. See, that's so surprising because this is a. So that's our favorite. A $10 and it's the bottle. Cheapest. And this is, I think it was 160 for a bottle of champagne. And. Such a waste. Yeah, I, I mean, to be even honest, the I can't $40 even $40 bottle was such a waste. Yeah. We'll be getting 
more Corbella. Well, you guys, there you have it. The most expensive stuff is not the best stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> so let us know down in the comment what your favorite champagne is, if you've had these three, and let us know if you go and try to do this competition, challenge, whatever you want to do it, call it. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.